to everybody and their neighbor. Welcome back to Gear and Gigs. I'm your host, Jet Stone. So glad you could stop by today. Kind of a special day. Got people from all over the country coming in virtually. We've got Tyler Stroll calling from Florida. Tyler, a, a good buddy of mine for many years and a, a son of another good buddy. How you doing, Tyler? <laughs> I'm pretty good. How about you, Jet? I'm doing good. Thanks for coming. And we also have, you've seen him before on the show, Jason Luthley up in North Dakota. Brr. Jason, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing well, Jet. How about you? I'm doing great at 72 degrees in Dallas. Very nice today. Not as nice as the 85 that Tyler was telling us about, but we're not going to pay any more attention to that. <laughs> so hopefully this finds you all doing well and we're going to do something pretty big kind of a kind of a well you clicked on the thumbnail you know a kind of a big show we're gonna we're gonna go through 11 wah pedals and see which one actually wins in a bracketed competition several of these pedals have multiple selections as far as you know a little dial or something a, a button that you can change their their sweep or their center frequency or something like that basically turning it into another wah pedal each of those will be treated as a separate wah pedal getting its own spot in the bracket and going head to head against another one now these guys have no idea what wah pedals i have at my feet they have literally no clue. They, I'm sure they're thinking there's probably a crybaby in there somewhere, but other than that, <laughs> they don't know. And there may or may not be because there's a lot of wah pedals on the market these days. So they won't know. They don't know what they're going to listen to. They're going to pick, uh, we're going to pick two. They're going to listen, decide which one they like better. In the case that they can't decide between them which they like better, I will be the tiebreaker. But since I know what's going on, I'm going to try to keep my involvement to a minimum because I really want this to be a blind test where they just go by what they like, what sounds good without knowing, without knowing it's expensive, it's cheap, it's a brand that they should revere, it's a brand they should not revere for whatever reason. They won't know. In the end, I'm hoping for a surprise, but you know, you're looking at the list of, of pedals, I'm sure, so you know your choice of what you, what you think is going to happen. Now, if you want to play along, just, you know, don't look as we tell you what the pedals are and, and you'll be okay. But uh, these guys will have no choice. They literally will never see the pedals until the very end. All right. So I've got two pedals set up. Our chain today, by the way, I've got a Strat and a Les Paul, which is an actual Strat and an actual Les Paul. Uh, we're going to start with the Strat because it's so flexible and versatile as far as getting different sounds. And it's, it's largely been a traditional wah choice in funk and that kind of stuff too. So I think that'll give us a lot of playtime. But if they want to hear a humbucker, we'll switch over to that. Uh, they're both custom shop reissues. Um, we've got, we're going to go straight into the wah pedals. First, we're going to go into one and then the other. Only one will be on at any given time unless I, unless I mess up. And uh, so those will be hit straight from the pickups. And then from there, they're going to go into a Nobles ODR1. ODR1? Yeah, ODR1 for, uh, which now that I look at it, it says odor. I'd never noticed it's an ODR1. <laughs> That's so sad that I noticed that. It's an ODR1. Noble. Actually, that, that Jason gave me kind enough to send that up to the studio for us to use. And, uh, and one of my favorite delays, the Wampler Metaverse, which if you guys have not seen the review on that, uh, we reviewed it with the um, Dirty Shirley pedal, I believe. I'll put a link up above. You can take a look at that. But not now. Stick with us because this is going to be interesting. I'm fascinated to see where this is going to be. Now, both these guys are longtime guitar players. They've both been playing for decades. They play different styles. They play a lot of different kinds of music. They've played in bands. They've played out. Uh, they've, they've recorded in studios. So they know a lot about gear and pedals and, and they should have a pretty good idea what they like. So this should be interesting. Um, and with that, we're just gonna dive into it. Oh, by the way, our amps were splitting after the, after the metaverse, it's with stereo, why not have a little fun with it, right? And we're gonna go into my trusty Boogie TC50, the Triple Crown, just in the clean channel. And over here in my other trusty Boogie, the California Tweed in the extra cool surf green. Um, both clean. Both got a touch of reverb, it's spring reverb from the unit itself, so if you hear reverb, that's where that's coming from. I've got an overhead mic here that I'll be turning off as we play, so you'll only be hearing the two tube mics that are over there on the, on the amps. They're going straight into our digital recorder, no extra preamps or anything like that, so it's a pretty straight ahead uh, sound. What you're getting is really pretty much what I'm gonna be hearing in the room. So, with that, incredibly long introduction here's a dry sound here's our bridge pickup
And here's our neck position. Nothing fancy, just pretty basic, just very rounded tones so we can hear what the wah is doing. All right, here we go. Wah number one. All right, next pedal, pedal number two. There you go. I'm voting number two right out. I'm going to second that, man. I, I feel like number two um, had a lot more of a versatile range. Like, I felt like Absolutely. number one, it was like you didn't have a lot of the treble in there. A um, lot of it was sort of muffled to me uh, when you got onto the chords there. But on number two, it sounds like you had a lot more range, in, in my opinion. So I, I don't know. Okay. Jason, what do you so think? number two makes but it to the next round. All right, here we go with bracket two. Are you guys ready for bracket two? We're ready. ready to go. All right, pedals three and four. Here we go with pedal three. Okay, pedal three. Here we go with pedal four. Oh boy, this is a lot tougher. Ah, yeah, man. It took the words out of my mouth too. Would, would you like to hear it with distortion perhaps? Yes, please. Yeah, let's let's see that. Okay, going back to three. It's very hard for me not to move my mouth when I play a Y. I want to go wow, 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 wow. So if I do that, I'm so sorry. It's so I, I, it, unconscious. <laughs> Okay, pedal f four. Gosh. Okay, I'm going to ask one more thing of you, Jet. Sure. Can you switch to the neck pickup dirty? Sure. Going back to three. <laughs> What do you got? I'm going with three. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> So Ooh. what what got me in my mind, just, just a quick um, description, I felt like three had a more kind of U-shaped tonal band 
Um, and then four to me, it, it sounded like whatever EQ um, that I'm hearing here, it's, it's a lot fuller to me. But when you played it there, just that last run through on the neck pickup, I don't know. It just it sounded similar to me, so I feel like there are a lot of similarities with those two pedals. But I'm gonna go with four on this one, for sure. Wow! So it's up to me then. Ooh, my, I'm the tiebreaker. My reasoning, when you were a three with the dirty, it had a more vintage tone to it, and when you went to four, it had like more of a hi-fi kind of feel, and I'm just drawn to that slightly more vintage so <laughs> okay we're in a tiebreaker yeah situation. I, i'm gonna have to go, tiebreaker. I'm, I'm gonna go with three i'm gonna go with three i i feel like it had a more vocal range that i had a little bit more control over i i agree though with tyler that the, the four had a, a a nice interesting scoop to it it sounded more unusual i think three sounded more vintage but Probably because of that, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it the the benefit on this one. So, all right, here we go with pedals five and six. Here we go, five and six. Pedal five. Okay, here we go. Pedal six. Could you go back to five quick? Sure. Yeah, I want to hear that one again. I feel like I'm at the eye doctor right now. Could you just give us a little of six? Okay. <laughs> I think I'm doing this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm good now. You know, Jet, I honestly want you to, in my humble opinion, put it to the test with a humbucker. Clean or dirty? Um, let's hear it clean first. All right, which pickup? Middle. Let's go middle position. Ooh, to give look it at bear. you. Here's our dry tone since we haven't heard this guitar. <laughs> All right, going to five. Going to six. I'm sold. Ooh. Now I'm now I'm more <laughs> confused. Hey, that that humbucker. I'm telling you what. That's why I wanted to hear the humbucker because it you know it brings out that different. It does range act differently there. and it sends a different impedance into the pedal. Yeah, it definitely does. Oh boy. Of course, both humbuckers. Yeah. 
gosh, that flipped around my brain now because you want, you I want was to hear thinking some distortion. You want to hear distortion? I, I, See if that'll please. Your... Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. Which I guitar? need some. What I need some help. Let's stick with the Les Paul for now. Yeah. All right. Which pickup? Just stay where right where you were. Wait, right. wait. No, nope. let's let's hear the bridge pickup. All right, bridge distortion uh, going back to number five. <laughs> I can't help but do the Steve Vai talky thing from, from Yankee <laughs> Rose. You know, you're, you're up there. It's right there. Okay, here we go to six. Oops. Turn that off with my hand. There we go. Okay, going to six. <laughs> Now I'm back to where I was. Okay. Yeah. Uh oh, Tyler I, looks uh, like he changed his mind. <laughs> God. Uh, or, you know. Wow. I'm going to go out and say number six. That's where I'm at, man. <laughs> Jason, uh -oh. cl clearly on number five. Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Wow. I'm, on, I'm on five. I'm sorry wow. to make this difficult, Jet. Well, I, I sided with you last time. I think I'm going to side with Tyler this time. Fair enough. Yeah, I think I'm going to give it to six. Wow, tough call. I would say, you know, for me, five with Stratocaster all the way. I was there when I first heard it. But then once I heard that Les Paul uh, on six, I was like, you know what? I feel like that, it, especially if you're a gigging musician, right? You're going to have, you know, your backup guitar, right? So you're probably given the setup that he has right there. You're going to have Pretty a humbucker much. and then you're going to have your single coils. So to me, I feel like six just spoke in that direction to me. So Yep. Yeah, I can't argue. It was close. Yeah, for me. really, same here, man. So here's number seven. <laughs> Here's number eight. I'm kind of curious uh, to hear number seven again, probably because I know you were on the bridge pickup. Can I get that on the neck pickup for the Les Paul? Okay, I'll do them both on the neck pickup. So here's number seven. Here's number eight. I'm sold. I think I am too. <laughs> okay, here Jason, we go. You, you okay. got it. You got it this time, Jason. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm voting seven, even though the pot's scratchy. Oh, wow, man, that was a, gosh, Jet, man, we're giving you the hardness here, man. No, I'm going eight, because, uh, you know, I feel wow. like that's that's quality to me. You know, I'm looking at, like, if I'm a budget musician, and, you know, that's what I got to deal with uh, for quality, 
I want number eight, you know, if, even if it costs more, I, I definitely want number eight. Cause that's to me, Hey, that's Q and a right there. We, we want to make sure wow. that quality assurance is good, but it sounds good yeah. to me. Number eight to me sounds better than seven. So it wasn't just on that judgment alone. And it may be a scratchy okay. pot. I'm not saying it is, but it could be a scratchy pot because of perhaps age or just lack of maintenance. It just needs a squirt of, of you know, <laughs> Cramelin or wink, something wink. in that. Cramelin in there. No, I'm not. It's not necessarily at all. I just could need a, you know, a little shot of Cramelin or something. Kind of contact cleaner for those of you who aren't familiar with that brand name. Um, how about how about le- since you're split, let me try it with the Strat. See if that changes. Okay, yeah, let's okay. let's okay. do that. Just because I do think it's probably something that's easily corrected in this particular case. Don't don't count too much out for the crackling if there is any. In any of these, okay. necessarily, because I, okay. I don't think that's going to be a major issue. All right. Number seven. Neck pickup. Okay, number eight. <laughs> uh, I just yeah, switched I've, my vault. Yep, I'm still eight, man. You you just clicked it over right there on that neck pickup and immediately to me i heard the eq difference in that i was like wow you know it was like a just a plethora of tone a dumped plethora on of yep. tone yeah <laughs> i like that <laughs> yep i'm gonna agree i hey, i'm right. switching my yep i'm switching okay. my vote it sounded better hey oh. <laughs> we did it yeah. oh, we did it <laughs> all right let's see which ones these are this is that up there i mean with the strat it just was like like a little radio versus a nice big stereo you know what got me to jason is like with the strat i didn't hear so much of the, the scratchy pot sound not, you know that not really that got me too i was like okay all right well that kind of went away now okay nine and ten Ooh, nine and ten here we go Right, 10, here we go. Okay, I for one personally want to hear number nine again let's go middle selector on the five way here uh middle pickup um just to give it the eq benefit of the doubt and then play 10 on the same nine here comes ten I'm getting close but I think we need to let's dirty it up Okay. Yeah, you want to stay I'm with this or go to the Les Paul? You can stay with that for now. Okay. Yeah. Which pickup? Uh, you just stay right where you're at. Okay. I never play in the middle position, so this is interesting. Okay, going back to nine. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Well, at least these are drastically different, but I'm trying to decide what I like best. I want to, I actually, I want you to give it the beans, man. Uh, do the same thing, but bridge pickup on both. Cause I, you know, I, I want to hear what that full treble sound that bite really sounds like out of both of them. Okay. Going to knock. <laughs> I'm going to go with nine. I, I, what are you thinking, Tyler? I'm, I judged on nine too, because, uh, I mean, to me, like when that last test he did, uh, the bridge pickup, I felt 10 to be too bitey, in my opinion. Yep. Um, and I feel like nine on the neck pickup to me, uh, a bit too muffled, but, you know, and that's where I think 10 shines. And then I think, you know, we're, we're at opposite ends of the, the spectrum here. So it's like 10 shines at the basier end but then you know nine shines down at the treble end so they honestly, are very different i mean tremendously different these two in particular yeah yeah they are definitely different it seemed like when you were on the bridge pickup with the dirt number uh number 10 seemed like you were just riding in that high frequency mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. i felt like there was more range on nine mm -hmm. so that's that's why i'm leaning nine or yeah. vote, All my ampy cues nine. are straight up and down, by the way. Okay. Okay. So cool. There's no ampy cue going on, essentially. Okay. So number nine is the winner. If one of those is a uh, Dunlop crybaby, like an, an original, and I uh -huh. didn't pick that, I am going to just like, I'm going to be irate. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be upset, man. Well, <laughs> here's hoping for some upsetness then. All right. <laughs> so we're moving on to 11 and 12. Uh, was that a giveaway? Was that no, a giveaway no, there? No, not at all. 11 and 12, <laughs> unless I wanted you to think that. You just Sneak don't peek. know. You don't know. Okay, 11 and 12. Here we go. Number two. I agree. Got some very different was here, people. Very so different. I am too, and I think. I'm pretty sure he's playing one of Tyler's pedals. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. 
I'm not the only one who thought that. You Interesting. Know, I, so, so which it, one? He says number eleven. What are you saying, Jason? Also eleven. I'm saying I'm saying eleven because I'm pretty sure this is the one that if Tyler doesn't pick it, he's going to be kicking himself. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Well, it those of you that are watching eight. at home, you may or may not find that particularly fascinating. Uh, I, all right. So there we go. That was a quick one. Wow. Didn't want to see distortion, different pickups, different guitar. They just knew. <laughs> Did, I don't know. Bum, bum, bum. We don't they know, were. Jason, but, you know, we're going off what we hear, and that brought back some nostalgia to me. It, and that, it did. That, yeah. It, it felt like what I've used before. And so. if if that isn't what we're thinking it is, that sounds pretty good for what they did. Right. Absolutely. And down the road here, if we happen to bump into the real <laughs> thing, we're in trouble. I know. Yeah, that's, that's exactly <laughs> what I'm saying, too. I'm like, oh, God, I don't want to betray myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, man. All right, we got 13 and 14. Are you guys ready for 13 and 14? Let's yes, hear sir. it. All right, here we go. I'm going to stay in the middle pickup. Everybody seems to be happy with that except me. Here we go. 13. What are you doing to us here? This almost seems like both of them do some sort of phaser thing. I was just, just wah say... pedals. There only wah pedals. No multi effects. Only wah pedals. I, I, here's what I was going to comment was just, I like the subtlety of the, or the subtleness rather of both pedals, right? It's not, yes, it is a wah pedal, but if you're not looking for that full effect, that's what I feel both of them offer there. Interesting. Um, interesting. Yeah. I kind of like that, but I would also like to hear maybe some dirt uh, okay. attributed to both of those. Same pickup. Yeah, same pickup. Okay. Going back to 13. <laughs> I'd like to hear the bridge pick up. Same setup. Okay. Yeah. Going back to 13. Can I bug you to switch guitars? No problem. Go middle. Middle, okay. 13. Fourteen. 
it's all I can do to control my lips from going <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Can we do it clean? Ooh, good choice. All right, 13. Fourteen. You want to go number first thirteen? Or Amen. Number thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen for both. Yeah. All right. Thirteen All right. to me just blew my mind. It, it had everything you were looking for. You know, if you're playing rhythm, you're going to lead. Uh, or you're a single guitar player on stage, man. It's got everything you need for what you're going to be doing, you know. And it, and it seemed like seemed like 14's range was a little limited. Yeah, little I felt bit. that too. All right, so here we go with 15 and 16. I definitely at some point, yeah, I want to hear the, the Fender, man. No worries. Here we go. Fender, middle position, going back to 15. That's a tough one. Yeah. yeah it is. Uh, oh, man. Um, I kind of, you know. And it's a particular Jet, battle of the titans, by the way. Jet, can you, like, give us the biscuits on the, the bridge pickup, like, raw, solo, I'm a lead guitar player, and I just need to play my licks, and that's all I need. Uh, <laughs> all righty. And maybe, get, maybe give us some dirt with that, too. I kind of want to give it the biscuits, yeah. All right, here we go with 15. That helped me a lot. Jason, where are you at, man? I'm at 16. I'm at 16 as well. After hearing that last run through, yep. I think I was like, okay, yeah, I see a lot of the, the difference right there, man. This is, uh, where are we at? Uh, 17, 18? Yep. yep, 17, 18. Okay, here comes 17. Eighteen. 
I got a quick question because this is just it's just something I have to know, right? Uh, Jet, where is volume knob right now? Well, I just rolled it all the way down, but I've been having it all the way up. All the way up? Mm -hmm. Can we do those two again, neck pickup, volume at around seven, seven and a half-ish? Okay. Going back to uh, 17. That was a good experiment. Let's go back the way Tyler had you do it last time. Bridge pick up dirt, give her give her the beans. Give her the biscuits. Oh. Yep. All right, it's going back to seventeen. Boy, at the neck position, lowered volume, I preferred 18. Now, this bridge pickup and dirt, I prefer 17. I'm, I'm kind of... Les Paul? Yeah, we're going to have to do it. Yeah. Clean first. Clean first. All right. Going back to 17. That didn't help me at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, taking actually... in distortion. Let me try the little distortion. Yeah, Let's see what that does. Sure. Okay. Going back to 17 real quick. I'm going to go to the bridge pickup. I'm got my mind made up. I I'm leaning. I I can't say I got my mind made up, but I'm leaning toward eighteen. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I saw two eyebrows go. Woo. Okay, we're. I guess we're tie breaking this tie -breaking. one, Jet. All right. Well, we've given it everything we can. So, um, honestly, I think I liked. I liked eighteen a little bit better that time I, I liked a little bit had a little bit more clarity a little bit more openness um 
I just felt it had a little bit more expression capable. You know, I'm the one moving my feet so I can feel these things. Like, you know. So I just felt like it, it reacted more like I wanted it to. You know, it got, got to where I wanted to go to. The other one kept falling just a hair short of where I wanted it to get to. Now, Jet, that's important. You know, that's something like Jason and I, we can't really, you know, feel, you can't feel perhaps. It, right. You can't feel and it. Pretty, yeah. For the most part, they're, they feel very similar, as you would expect. But there are some, that, and I'll talk about this once you know what they are, that are very, very different. So okay. we'll see. But, it, but I'm trying to ignore that because I'm really going for sound because you can adapt. If, if you love the sound, you'll find a way to adapt, right? You know, it's all about the sound first. So that's what we're, we're deciding. And then we can factor in that other stuff depending on who wins. But uh, in this case, who, who the pedal, not you guys. There are, there are no winners here. We, we can't win. So. No prizes today. Put those away. We're not giving them out, as it turns out. I'm going to go with 18 on that one, but I agree. Both of them were really good, usable. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't, yeah. be, I wouldn't kick either one out of bed for eating crackers. So. Yeah. All right, let me, let me switch. All right, we're back to a Strat middle position clean. Here we have, uh, what are we at? 19 and 20, right? 19 and 20. 19 and 20. Yes. If you've stuck with us so far, you're awesome. We love you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you're just tuning in, it's a YouTube video. Go back. Okay, here we go. <laughs> here comes number 19. Number 20. I don't know if you uh, need to hear anything particular, Tyler, but I got my mind made up already. What? Um, man, you're... Uh, a better soul than I. I I want to give it the the beans test for sure. Okay. All right, beans test. Bridge pickup distortion. Going back to nineteen. Well, that messed me up a little. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready now. That, you gave it the look, man. You gave it the peppers. <laughs> And wow. that's all it needed for me. I just want to know, are the beans, the biscuits, and the peppers all interchangeable? They're all interchangeable, yeah. All but, interchangeable. but I'm not okay. going to your house for dinner based on that, I'll tell you. <laughs> Hearing that last run, I'm going 19 all the way. Good, good, because 19 was my dad ahead pick on the clean run. Oh, okay. <laughs> awesome. All right, 19 it is. All right, we're at uh, 21 and 22. 21 and 22, strat, clean, middle position. Here we go. 21. Twenty-two. 
Uh, let's give it the bean peppers. Let's give, give it the peppers. It. <laughs> All right, I was just go. about to say that. Going back to 21. <laughs> I'm good. I know which one I like. I know which one I like now. I am gonna try to stick with <laughs> where with what I was at with the clean. I like 19 better. Or wait, what number are we on? 21 and 22. Yeah, can't 21. jump back a bracket, man. Stay, yeah. stay with us. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. 21. 21. Uh -oh. I voted 22 and 22, <laughs> man. <laughs> All right, we're going to the Les Paul. See if you guys can agree. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's our tiebreaker. I love it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that is a good one. All right, 21. I'm sticking with my vote. Same. Same. Wow. You're going you're gonna to have to I, jump in, Jet. I like the first one better. I like 21 better. Oh, man. I do. I like it a little brighter. I like a little bit more. It sounds more vintage. It's got more of that, that, that upper end sizzly thing that happens, you know? You know, I guess, I guess for me, just being the Fender guy, man, uh, I guess when you have a trebly sort of guitar, you don't want... For me, so you thought it was too no. trebly with the with the Fender, right? Yes. Which led me to that twenty-two, and now hearing it with the humbucker, I kind of heard the similarities there. But you know, I, like I said, at the end of the day, I still think twenty-two to me sounded just that nudge better. So, all right. Well, I I already voted, so but next time I'll I'll vote with you since I did twice with him. So but <laughs> for, this one, for this one, we'll put well, twenty-one down. Maybe we won't have any more tiebreakers. Doubtful, but... <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that was all of our first brackets. So all of our first brackets are done. You've heard every pedal except for one because I got an odd number, so that one will come into play in this bracketing. But you've at least basically heard 10 of the 11 at this point in, okay. all, pos in all positions. Okay. All right. So now we're going head-to-head -head with the ones that you've chosen. Against this is other. where it's going to get scary. So this is, uh, we're going to start over with new numbers because it got crazy. So we're back to one and two. So number two is one of those phasey ones. Really? You're hearing that? I think so. So I, I'm, not... I'm personally, I'm, I'm not hearing that, but you know, I want to give it the peppers test, man. That's... Yep. Go for it. Okie doke. Back to number one. <laughs> Why, 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 why
Gotta crack out the last Paul. Alrighty. Yeah. All right. So this is uh, number one. I prefer number one. Yep. Ultimately, I'm I'm going to say the same. Um, while number two did give you uh, like a little boost in confidence, um, I do like the tonal characteristics of number one a lot better than I do number two. So number one, I'm with Jason is. on that one. This is uh, three and four. That's a tough one. That is a tough time. One. Pardon me? Yes. Be beans? Stratocaster time. Oh, Stratocaster time. Strat yeah. Wow. All right, going back to three. Those are good wah chords, aren't they? Yeah. Very good. All right, here we go four. Okay, I'm, and this is for a reason I could explain later, but four. <laughs> I am doing it for Dale Earnhardt right now, man. I'm going number oh, three. Wow. Solid. Oh, no. Well, we better Solid. go to the. Should we go? We already did the last Paul. Now the, right? now we the did the last We haven't done this clean. We haven't done this clean. I'll tell you what. Let's go to position okay. four on the strat. God forbid. Position four. No, no, no. Right? Fair. Little quack. I'll turn it off. We'll go clean. I'll just play something funkified and we'll see how that sounds. All right. Great. All right. Going back to three. Difference is much okay. more apparent there. Okay, Jason, you're mu you must be in used cars because you sold me on number four. I, I'm I'm there now. You still four, Jason? Yes, absolutely. And I I like the fact you know it had a little bit more high end in it, but it wasn't unpleasant. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah. and my reasoning initially was I almost heard a 
bit of like a talk box character. All right, here we go. Strat, middle position. No, uh, we're just going to call them A and B just to shake things up. A and B, here we go. Okay. All right. All right. Here's B. I'm drastically so different. I'm drastically too. Now, since they're so different, should we try a different guitar? Just because that's changed people's minds before. Okay. Yeah. Did you? Did you do? You both uh, feel pretty confident on this one. You feel yeah, like did I'm, you I'm do not, distortion but... on on that or no? Oh sure, let's do distortion. I'll give it the beans. All right, going back to A. Well, I don't know about you, Jason, but I I'm sold still. Yeah, I guess I am. I am too. Um, the only thing that kind of made me lean a little the other way was when he did single note runs on the one pedal. But I'm definitely lean. I'm definitely voting B on this one. Uh, same here. B. I'm, I'm on Bravo. You don't want to hear with the Paul. Don't want to hear. You you're confident. Do confident. You Confident, B is it. Okay. All right. This is uh, uh, Alpha and Omega. Just, you know, Ooh. throw a little, yeah, just throw a little craziness at it. Alpha, here comes Omega. I think we have to swap guitars. Here comes Alpha. comes Omega. I'm going I'm Omega on this one. Omega as well. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. It's, there you know, some... to me, I felt Alpha just, you know, it was it was pretty bassy and, you know, it was more tailored to, and, and here's my thing, I probably did vote for that pedal um, in the initials, the run, but now hearing it compared to that, the other pedal, I'm thinking, I'm like, man, you know, I almost hear the, the complete versatility from that second pedal, and I feel like that's probably the better way to go. So both of you said Omega. It's interesting. 
since since Alpha is now out of the running, I'll tell you that's the one that you before thought was the one. <laughs> really? Just and saying. Just saying. There's, there's something that I heard out of Alpha that I just didn't like, and I didn't think I had heard before. We're gonna keep it A and B because you don't care if it's A or B, so it's A or B. All right, here's A. Mm. Here comes B. Uh, Jet, I'm voting for the uh, Peppers test. Okay. Going back to A. Same. Which one? A. I'm going. Oh, man. Bravo. Ah. <laughs> uh, boy, it seems like you guys are just so on the same page, and then we find out oh, they're even in different books. Same page, different books. Can you believe that? Wow. A little time for a Les Paul. I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. All right. Going back to A. That brought it a little bit closer for me, but I'm still on A. I'm still B, too, man. I still feel like that's a solid pedal. Wow. Okay. One more. Middle position. No distortion. I'm not telling you which is which. I may be playing A and B. I may be playing B and A. You just got to tell me which one you like first or second. Okay? Okay. No, I like that idea. And here's the other one. I'm for the first one, man. Yeah, I am now too. So I don't know. So one of you switched. Yeah, apparently. Which which did you say before? I said. I said. 
I said Bravo, and then now I'm the one that you just played, the first one. Right. On that. You, then you switched. <laughs> Me? Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> uh, so there you go. So Alpha or A is the one that's going to get the nod on that one. Interesting, interesting, interesting. We're down to five more comparisons, and that's it. We have a winner. So getting close, getting close. All right, here we go. Les Paul, middle position, clean. We have uh, Charlie and Delta. Charlie and Delta. Charlie and Delta. Charlie first. Okay, that was Charlie. Time for Delta. I have a major request. I want to hear both guitars, Pepper's Test. Both guitars, yeah. Pepper's. All right, here we go. Going back to uh, Charlie. All right, going back to Charlie. Going to Delta. I'm going with Delta. Delta here too. Wow. That's it, man. Wow. Fascinating people. Absolutely fascinating there. Not expected. Did not expect that. Did not, <laughs> oh, did not expect that. Jason, I think he's yeah, man. He's playing very, us. Very, very surprised there's, on that one. Very surprised. There's some funny very business surprised. going on. Very here. surprised on that. Shocked, in fact, but we'll see what happens. When all is revealed. But I could right. tell you you like Delta better. Me, Jeff. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh Me? Jet, yeah. I, I could tell Jet liked it better. Oh uh, actually I, I like the first one better. No. I you, well your finger your fingers like Delta better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought his facial expressions like Delta a lot better. I thought personally. So. <laughs> I was I don't know. I'm not going to I'm not going to say anything until it's all over cuz I don't want Jet to change anything. <laughs> oh yeah, true. <laughs> I've actually been messing with it's the same pedal the whole night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm on the middle position. We're clean. This is Monica and Rachel. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm down for the friend's approach. I okay. like that. All right, Monica and Rachel. All right, here we well, go. Now, I, now I'm biased already. Now, <laughs> <laughs> Joey and Chandler, what do you want here? Would that be better? No. You, you, okay, no. No, that would not be better. 
This is one and two. We're going to do one and two. So here comes one. Okay, here comes two. Gonna have to I... give her the onion. Oh, Onions? man, All right. he's bringing out that North Dakota this now. All right, here we give go. Give her the onion. All right, going back to A. Or one or Joey, I don't remember. The first one. <laughs> Give her the chilies. Okay, here comes number two. <laughs> Let's fall with the beans. Going back to A. Or one or whichever one. I I want to hear that clean. Okay. Um, and maybe neck pickup this time. Ooh. All right. Neck pickup. Going back to uh, number one. Going to number two. Jason, what are you thinking, man? I'm I'm torn. I'm leaning Same. one way. Same. I'm 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 leaning towards one. I'm uh I'm a Rachel fan, man. I'm on number two. I like Monica, but you know I'll go neck pickup so. on the strat then. Neck pickup yeah. on the strat. Okay. Good All good right. choice. All right, here we go. Back to number one. Actually, I'm not gonna tell you which one. Maybe it's number one, maybe it's number okay. two. Okay. That's a good idea. That helped us before. And here's the other one. I don't know what, uh, honestly, it's like, I feel like Jet's doing some sort of voodoo magic right there, but when he clicked on that second pedal, that sold it for me, right there. And okay. I'm going for the second one. That's, that's final decision. And I, I am too, but I feel like I'm switching. I, before I said I like the first one better, but I, now I like whatever is two. All right. And Tyler, you said... You like the second, second one better one. before you switched again. <laughs> I knew it. I and I it just but that that's what's getting me with a lot of these is like when you play it in one position, 
there's something with the EQ that just jumps out on that. And I'm like, hmm. oh man, there it is right there. Uh, and it doesn't, you know, it's nothing that you're doing crazy, right? It's just like, I hear it at that instant. I'm like, okay, that's that sells me. Because that second one, that last run he did, I felt like the EQ just went, hey, we're in Panavision now. Here you go. You're not in black and white anymore. <laughs> one and two. Here we go. One and two. Here comes two. Close one. Uh, Very nope. close. I've got my mind made up. I am lost. We got to give it the onion. All right. Give it the onion. Onions coming back with number one. <laughs> comes number two. Can I hear the same thing on the neck pickup? Okay. Going back to one. I'm still confused on this one. Um, Last Paul, here it comes. I'll give it to Beans. Going back to one. <laughs> or am I? And here's the other one. Okay, I like the first one you played there. Okay. I'm uh if that's I'm the same thing, you know, if that was the same one from the first the ones that you were playing at the first time, I'm that's where I'm at the whole time. You, you've liked the first one each time. Yeah. Well, you switched again. <laughs> oh. He's getting me with these. <laughs> okay. So, so I'll give you one more shot. I'll go clean. Not telling you which is which. This is it. You ready? Here we go. Here's the first one. <laughs> And here's the second one. Wow. 
Now I like the second one of whatever you did. Yeah, I'm number two on that one as well. Okay, that was the first one last time. <laughs> so that's great. Jason, you've been consistent, and Tyler, you've picked the same one the last two times, so we're going to go with that since you both agree. <laughs> All right. Wow. Hey, I'm, once again, just, I'm shocked on that one, too. Are you shocked at home about that one? I'm a little surprised about that one. All right. We're going to call these one and two. And we're starting with one. Here we go. Middle pickup. Clean. comes number two. Strat, please. I'm the same way, too. Okay, I'm going to use position two. Like, I, Jason, I was, like, ready for that, but then I was like, eh, I want to hear that different tone as well. Those are clean. Number one. I like the first one better. Same. I'm right there myself. Wow. Okay. Are you surprised at home? I'm a little surprised too. All right. Moving on. <laughs> a and B. Be cautious. You're really down to it now, people. Give her the onion. Gosh, man. Took the words out of my mouth. Yeah. Give her the biscuits. All right. Here we go. Yeah, this is A. Okay, here comes B. Can you go to the neck pickup on that? Neck pickup going back to A. Yeah. 
one back to me. I'm still sold, Ben. I'm a little tripped up by this one. Um, Going to Les Paul. Les Paul. Well, Jay, Jason, tonal wise, what were you thinking on? Like, what was tripping you up, though? Well, I was pretty sold on one of them until he went to the neck pickup, and that screwed me up. I know um, the one has a little bit more high end bite. Yeah, that's I'm here I'm hearing a lot of that too. And I'm not certain if I'm liking it or not. You know, I, that's that's what's messing with me. Well, maybe okay. Jet's right with that humbucker and we'll, you know, kind of get that discerning factor there. Let's put it into the middle, run it clean. Here we go, back to A. Yeah. <laughs> And back to B. I feel I feel like I'm fairly fairly good to vote okay too yeah i like the first one better i'm going with the the second one uh, simply because that yeah i know you're gonna have to do a tiebreaker again but i know that that distortion less paul we haven't done that give her the peppers all right here we go there you go going back to the first (laughs) when all else fails yeah Okay, here's B. Jason, buddy, it's Bravo, hands down, man. It, <laughs> that pedal sounds like it's a whole mess load of fun that you're just waiting to get into man it's like that you see the christmas presents under the tree and the kids are just ready to tear into them that's how that pedal feels like to me right wow can we do the peppers on the strat neck pickup please all righty solid choice i like that all right going back to a Okay, Jason. Tyler, this time you're the salesman, and I, Come on, I, man. I, I am going to switch. 
your dad's right. station wagon on A, and then, you know, the freaking, uh, the nice Jaguar that you're ready to take off the showroom floor on, on Bravo, man. Well, are you I'm not surprised quite, at home about that? I'm, I'm not, I'm not quite seeing that big a difference, but I am, I am voting for the second one. Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. All right. Maybe I got a little carried away there. Maybe, maybe Mustang, maybe Camaro on, on both of those. They're, they're equally great. You know, it just depends on which way you like to go, you know? So I, man, I just, you know, when I heard that second one, I was like, that has so much potential just it, it, even if look you know like on a the the thing that was getting me was just like the limitations on a lot so i feel like on bravo what i heard was even if it's a bit too much for you pull that volume knob down a little bit and you'll be fine and, and, and sure. take care of that what i yeah. hope to anyway so um or if you got a good sound man tell him hey take it down with it but what guitar player tells your sound man to take his, his <laughs> Yeah, right. No, you know you're always like <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I can't hear myself. Take it up a little bit, man. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm man. not louder than anybody else in the room yet, so take crank me up a little bit. I remember a sound man telling me, I can't figure out what it is, but every single time toward the end of the night your amp is always getting louder. Oh, same thing. What? But it was my dad telling me that. I'm like Really? Oh, I can't figure that out myself uh, either. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was saying I think it just warms up and it just you know it just it's, cranks it's, it up a little. When you have a tube amp, that's what we always say. Hey man, right. you know the tubes they warm up after a while. You know they get a bit louder. So yep. yeah, it happens. <laughs> All right, we're down to the last two. We're down to the last two. The last two. This is it. Oh this is boy! To decide the final winner. All right. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start off middle position strat clean. Here comes number one. I'm going to request Pepper's Test on both guitars, man. All right. Yes, please. Fair enough. Here we go. Strat, Pepper's. I'm good. I'm pretty good. I, I can you play? Okay, take the Les Paul, put it on the neck pick up, neck pickup, dirty, and play some leads higher up on the neck. Okie doke. Solid choice. Go back to number one. Number 
two. Jason, you st I'm liking the first one. <laughs> oh boy. Number two. All right, let's uh let's go to clean. Nick. Going back Let me to work. Hmm. I'm still at two, man. I mean, there's a little bit of the high end that I'm not having trouble crazy with. about. Yeah, I'm have yeah. I'm not crazy about on number one. There's a little bit of that more wah scooping action on the second one that I do right. like. Where but I'm still liking one more. And you might be right, man. Like I to me, I'm what I'm hearing in my head is like just uh a generality of like, hey, who's playing this thing, right? Who's using this pedal? Um, and if it's somebody who's not playing stadium gigs, I'm like, hey, number two is like great for that because you can always like, you know, we discussed, even though guitar players don't like to roll down your volume and then you're still going to get a, a good tonal range from that pedal. But you're right, man. It, you know, if you got somebody who's, relatively new to pedals and, and whatnot i feel like number one is probably your good option for that uh just to me i feel like you have a lot more tonal range from number two than you do from number one that's what i i hear the difference anyway ha having with with what you just said let's have jet grab the strap put it on the neck pickup and go back to that seven-ish volume on clean. Yeah, that's a good idea. Seven and a half, you know, somewhere in there. I usually play my rhythms around that volume, so that's why I'm always like, what do you got towards that to give it uh, an honest run? Right. Okay. There's our tone. Going back to number one. Number two. Okay, uh, here's what I'm... To me. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Here's what I'm thinking right now. I... For some reason, I like the overall tone coming through with the first one. Yeah. But it, if you want to get after it and have some real wah action, the second one is what you want. That's called waxion, I... by the way. <laughs> just, so, just technical term. I don't want to throw anything off, but yeah. Just so you... I, I'm. I don't know how to. How can you change my mind, Jet? Can you? Can you? Can you mix it up so I don't know what I'm listening to here? As opposed to now when you don't know what you're listening to? Yeah, well, yeah. No. <laughs> okay, I'm not even going to tell you what pickup I'm, I'm using or anything, okay? I won't even tell you what pickup I'm using. You don't get to see that, and I won't tell you which one I'm playing first. 
Okay. Okay. All okay. Right. Give it the biscuits. Oh, you want biscuits? All right. Biscuits, I'm not telling you which pickup. I'm not telling you where my volume is on my guitar. Nothing. You just got to go with which one you like. Here we go. Okay. Copy that. Okay. And here's the other one. I like the second one that you played here, which I think is still the same one that I was picking before. Even though it has less wah action, there's something about that pedal I like. I don't so know, you like, man, the, I you like the second one, and uh, which one did you like, Tyler? The second one? Second one. Well, Tyler has a predilection for switching. Gosh! <laughs> 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 I couldn't tell you. I like when it's something that I don't know, man. Like I just hear it in a different factor and I'm like, Oh man, it sounds so good. Okay. I'll tell you what last, last test. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Hold all tickets. Hang on. Oh, he's going to grab some different guitar. He's grabbing a Telecaster. He's doing it. I'm going to guess offset, but you're probably right. He's grabbing the lightsaber. That's all I know. <laughs> I knew it. I I ah, that's it. Oh, it the is. beauty. Yeah, man. There's some the real tone. Thin line double S squire. I love it. I love it. That's a beauty right there. If I remember yes, right, that Jet, can you hear us yet? Okay, now I can. If I remember right, that's your double S choir, right? This is a double S choir uh, made of uh, roasted pine. The body is made of roasted pine, hollow, with a reversed pickup. So it's at, at a different angle with S choir wiring, so it's a little different. And. Uh, yeah, it's not going to sound at all like the other ones. So we'll give it a totally different guitar and see where we go. Give it the peppers. Absolutely. Make sure I'm in tune. Be set up the ride. All right, let's see what we got. This guitar is a little quieter, so. That's all quieter right. pickups. All right. Going back to, I'm not even telling you. I'm not telling you. Here's the other one. Can we please have Tyler's pepper test? Okay. Oh, nope. it, even even better. Here 
Here comes number two. <laughs> I like so, the second uh, one. I like the second one better with this guitar. Yeah, me too, man. I mean, like I'm, I've been on the second one, but I'm still, man. I'm, I'm with that second one no matter what. So, feel it. If the, if we're gonna call this guitar the tiebreaker, I'm voting. I'll vote number two. All yeah. right. Wow. Okay. We have our winner. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Interesting. All right, well, I'm not telling you guys anything. You have to wait till the show comes out. See ya. (laughs) No. no. So first we had, or at least early on we had, the uh, Dunlop Crybaby 535Q, which has got various settings upon it. So when this was on position one, we put it up against a GBG95 Red Sparkle Limited Edition Crybaby. And you guys chose the Red Sparkle. We also tried the Jam Hand-Built Wacko, which also has a six position switch. And we had that on position two versus the Rocktron Utopia Wah. Very unusual pedal. Hmm. And looks very. Good. And of those two, you liked the jam. Hmm. We tried the full tone Clyde Deluxe. Oh, I've heard which, about those. Which has got a buffer, which we did not use, and all the volumes. If it had a volume, I matched our volume. Uh, and this has a three position sweep switch. And uh, that one went against the third position on the 535 cube. And of those two, you like the 535 in position three. Uh, we had the mm, Joe Bonamassa signature. Wah. Man. Go up against the, uh, the jam in position five. And you like the jam. Wow. We had the Morley Little Alligator, or no, excuse me, the Pro Series Wah, the PWA, I apologize, the PWA Morley go up against the Clyde Deluxe in the B position, uh, which is the Jimmy position, by the way. There's whacked Jimmy and shaft. <laughs> so in the, in, the, in the Jimmy position versus this, you like the Morley. Really? really? Uh, I know. Why we're getting a lot of interesting here. Yeah, definitely. We did the 535Q in the sixth position against the mini wah, the mini crybaby. What do they call it? The crybaby mini. Yeah, it's the crybaby mini. And of those two, the mini one. Oh, wow. <laughs> then we did the uh, jam in position one versus the 535Q in position four. And you like the crybaby. Hmm. Then Jason, are you picking it up, man? <laughs> so then we had the Clyde Deluxe in position C, the shaft position, versus a base crybaby, a crybaby base wah. Yeah. And of, and of these, the base wah one. Yeah. What? This is the one you guys thought was the vintage crybaby. The base wall. Really? Isn't that interesting? Well, that is at least sort of redemption. One of the best things about this is there is no on off. As soon as you touch it, it's on. As soon as you let go, it's off. And it's spring loaded, so it always returns to its lowest position. It's the only one that's oh. like that. So it's actually a lot of fun to play because it pushes back. And when you let go, you're just, it's off. You don't have to worry about it. Oh, my anything. God. That is Very so cool. cool. Very cool. And I like it for guitar a lot. And apparently, you guys do too. Well, when we heard that one, we were both instantly like, that's the cry baby. Right, so, yeah. So then we had the 535Q in the fifth position and the jam in the third position. And you like the jam. Oh, no. Uh, let's see. Then we did 
the jam in the sixth position versus the Vox Union Jack limited edition V847. I was sort of hoping that somewhere along the line there was going to be an old Vox. And of these, you like the Vox. Hey, there it is. Then we had the 535Q. They're all looking the same. 535Q in the second position versus the Jam in the fourth position. And you preferred the Jam. So clearly Mm. the positions matter a lot. All right, so Very that much through so. the first bracket. Then we had the Jam, also versus the 535Q. Jam in the second position. 535Q in the fourth position. You like the 535Q over the Jam. Then we did the uh, 535Q in the third position versus the Vox. You preferred the Vox. Oh. I had a feeling... Uh, then we did the uh, mini versus the jam in the fourth position. And of these, uh, you preferred the mini. Yes, I was going to say, tell me it was the mini, man. It was the mini. <laughs> so uh, we had the, uh, the jam in the fourth position versus a super vintage first edition crybaby running on battery power. Yes. And you like the jam. No, oh, no. way, man. <laughs> oh, oh. This has the original Faisal conductor. It has all the original stuff. This one's been, this one costs by far more than any of these here, you know, because of its vintageness. And it didn't even make it past one round. Oh, no. Yes. I'm, yes. Uh, Hard to believe. Bad, Hard no. to believe. I'm shocked. The audience was like aghast, I think. Uh. Um See, that was the jam, and you preferred the jam, and then the mini. So then we had the 535Q in the fourth position versus the Vox. And you like the Vox. Oh, my gosh. Yes, you like the Vox. And then we did the Vox. The final contest was the Vox versus the mini. Really? Mini, let's go. You liked the Vox. No! (laughs) Your favorite wah is actually the one that started it all, basically. The Vox V847, in this case, in a really cool paint job with Union Jacks. But that's the favorite. And and your second favorite that you're having so much trouble with was, in fact, the Mini. And one of the reasons it has that particular sound is because the throw is so unusual because it's it happens very quickly because it's such a short pedal that it it kind of goes through the, the filter, I think, a little faster, no matter wow. how you use it. But in either case, you like these the best, but you ended up liking the Vox. And this is the one, by the way, that you said you, you waxed quite philosophic about, Tyler. You, you thought this one was, uh, what was it, a, a trip to the beach with a, with a naked blonde? I forget what he said exactly, <laughs> but, you know, I mean, it's sad that he Same meant it, John. But either way, you know, it does, it, what, this is the one he really liked. And, and this one was the station wagon. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Oh so, man. So, so there this... you go. If you planned on getting endorsed by Crybaby, you could give up on that and start calling Vox because <laughs> that's who you like. That's the favorite. And to be quite honest, after all this, I think it's my favorite too. It 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 was the most fun to play. It was the most expressive. It was the juiciest. It had the most wah flavor and in every iteration that we use distortion les paul telly strat didn't matter to me this is the one that kept standing out as unique and and interesting to listen to it kept tickling my ear and making me wanted to hear more so no well, i'll play, say this. playing aside <laughs> hey, i mean you know like in seeing that in the reveal now you know seeing as far as like in my own mind i would never have thought one of those mini pedals would gotten you know, so I thought that was going to be out in the first round and clearly I right. thought that the vintage one would make it would sail past you know that's why I didn't even and go in the first round I'm like oh it'll go past the first round and, and it just got shot up. down like pull psh, yeah it's gone well and it stack up against you know such a legend like the box itself it's like gosh man I don't think any of them are particularly bad I think all of them have a place 
and the, their place is right here in the studio where they belong. And we can pick whichever one we like. I recommend them all. But if I had to pick personally, based on price, availability, reliability, and being able to power it with a 9-volt power supply, I'm going to pick the Vox. I think we've learned comparison matters greatly on what you put through it. You know, I didn't think that the guitar would matter that much. I didn't think the pickup choice would matter that much. I didn't think distortion or clean would matter all that much on how the wah reacted. And it, it definitely did cause people to change their oh, mind yeah. several times. Oh, it caused yeah. me to change my mind. Um, from a usage standpoint, the ones that are shaped the most normal, most, most traditional are the easiest to operate. But that being said, the Vox had the hardest button to hit. The Morley actually has a button at the bottom, it's actually down here off of the pedal. So it's got nothing to do with the pedal. So you can just <laughs> hit this and turn it on off. So that's kind of cool. Um, Imagine that. But the bass wah, man, is that easy to use with no buttons at all. Just step on it. And as soon as you're done, you walk away and it's not stuck in any position. Yeah. I mean, how many times have you walked that. away from a wah pedal and you're like, why does my sound sound so thin? Oh crap, right. I didn't hit the button, you know? Yeah. You know, or you start out the night and you don't realize it's on and you know, the first song is like, oh my God, <laughs> you know, that and you're running terrible. over your pedal. <laughs> yeah. So well, in, in I, that way, I like that. Um, the full tone and the jam have got the most, and uh, the full tone, the jam and the, the 95, the, the GCB 95, is that the one? Uh, no, the 535Q, excuse me, the 535Q. Those three have got the most flexibility by far. A uh, lot of controls very different in the in the different sweeps and stuff so if you're looking for versatility those would be the ones i'd recommend the bonamassa which we actually did a separate review of the bonamassa wall and i'll put a link above for that as well that's got a real nice character to it in fact we i think we said it had gallons of character in that review and i think it does so i'm surprised it didn't make it a little further through but once again it just depends on what you're going up against and what you put through it and who's listening and you know it, it's all up to you. There's no wrong choices. It's really just what do you like at that particular moment. And, but at least hopefully now you, the viewer, has got a much better idea of what's out there and how different the flavors of a walk can be. And I bet you guys have learned a few things too. Definitely. Yeah. So thanks everybody for joining us for this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Links down below for all the fun stuff. Make sure you, you know, subscribe, like, you know, all that housekeeping stuff. Hit the little bell. You'll know when our next video comes out. And in the meantime, I'd like to say thanks and goodbye for Tyler and Jason and myself. We'll see you next time.